All right, so we're back. Um, after a very, very successful little hunt today, which I brought it up when we got home. I was like, oh man, we should have filmed that, but then it would have been like a like a five minute video because we went to one target and found everything, almost everything, and then went to another target across town and they had nothing. So then we went back to the first target and grabbed a couple of big ones for a couple people, but we have, what would this be? Three quarters of the new Clone Wars wave. Um, so yep, we got the Obi-Wan, the Anakin, and the Echo. the Echo. So, yeah, this one was weird because when we walked up, he was just on the shelf. Like, out of all these ones, because I know Hawk's like the hard one to find because like his shipment got pushed back or he didn't come with all the rest of them at the same time. So there's none in Western New York. We, like, they looked at all the targets, there was nothing. But I figured this guy was going to be the hard one to find, but it looks like it's going to be hot, because there was just two of them just right there on the shelf when we walked in, and the first target we go to. So, grab those. Like I said, I ended up coming back and grabbing two more Obi-Wans. One was for a trade, and one I'm selling for cost and ship to a friend. Um, then, yeah, we got the Anakin, so we'll show off these cool boxes. They're really neat. Um, again, with, like, this 50th thing, you know, it's like they, they knew that they were doing this wave, I really don't understand why they couldn't put, like, pictures of the other figures oh, on the back yeah. or, like, pictures from the show or anything. It's just this really boring 50th anniversary timeline thing. Um, and it is like that for all the ones. Because they have, like, the old art on the front, like, reminiscent of the ones from, what would that be, like, the mid-2000s? Because they got a couple. Um, they're all different. I have a few of the old Clone Wars figs, so this is like, I, I don't know what line this is from. It's from one of them. You can see they got the picture up there. And they do have a Legacy Collection Padme, which is also very similar. Uh, this one obviously has a Stormtrooper. These got the clone helmets in the background. Very, very similar. Although this one has uh, Natalie Portman on the front. I literally just now noticed that. I never really looked too close to this. I thought it was just Padme from uh, Clone Wars. But yeah, see, even these, they got the extra figures on the back. I didn't need, I, this is legit actually the first time I looked at this, too. I didn't know that there was a droid leg in there. Yeah, I just, I was staring at it. I have literally never looked at the back of this box. I bought it from somebody online and then never looked at it. Um, the only one that I have that's the same exact packaging is this Yoda. So as you can see, it's got the little Clone Wars picture on there. Instead of the Lucasfilm 50th, it just has, like, what he does. But yeah, you see right here. It would have been cool if the back of the box looked like this. You know, a picture of the figure, a little bio, the picture from the show, and then just put the other three figures, like right here. Like, it would have been so simple. But instead, every one of these card bags, except, I don't remember if, like, the Greedo and the Obi-Wan, those might have pictures on the back. We never reviewed those, but that's, I need to start looking at the backs of things. Because <laughs> I didn't even know I had a droid factory thing on that one. But yeah, so it's supposed to be a mock-up of these old boxes. Um... Yeah, actually down to like the divots on the side and everything, which is cool. Um, I never owned any of these when I was a kid. Uh, like when Clone Wars was coming out, I was like in my late teens and 20s. So I, I didn't even really sit down and watch them until a few years ago. But obviously, I'm a big fan. So, basically, now that we have that out of the way, first impressions on these figures, Bernie, what do you think? Yeah, and uh, Bernie is... Massive, massive Clone Wars fan. I love him. Yeah. I think they're awesome. I didn't actually get a good look at that. Though. He looks good. Oh, he does. He looks absolutely awesome. And so it's like the faces. This one looks a lot like Ewan McGregor. Um, I've been seeing some people complain about Anakin. He's like yeah. an amalgamation of the animated Anakin and like, like a botched clone of Hayden Christensen. I don't think he looks that bad, but... I don't know. know. I yep. mean, first, personally, when I looked at it, the face was a little rough for me. I mean, I see what you're saying, where it's similar to Hayden Christensen, and it's more, I don't know, I feel like it's yeah. more similar to the actual show versus, like, um... It, that's like I said, it's like a weird mishmash of bulls. Oh, right, exactly. And that one looks like, uh... This is, like, Tamara Morrison, right yeah, there. That, like, that's, I, I knew Morrison, I was trying to think of the first yeah. name. Like, that's basically, like, the Django Fett phase. Like, yeah. that's... Yeah. But, I mean, he, it looks like him in the show, too, so... So yeah, um, I'm going to be figuring out how to open these without ruining the packaging. I got a couple ideas. 
Um, I got some X-Acto knives because I do want to like reseal these so I can put them up. I'm going to end up with doubles of all these anyway, so these will just be my openers for now. So yeah, we're going to move over to the table, crack them open, we'll take a look, go over articulation, like finer details, all that good stuff, and then we'll be back here for our score. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> all right, so first up, Anakin Skywalker. Um, I'll get to him in a second, just a quick little thing. You got to do a little bit of extensive box surgery on this one. I did kind of bork it up. Um, just the way that it's designed, because it's got like the, the tape on the ends, and then it's got that folded flap in here. So basically, X-Acto knife here, X-Acto knife under the tape, which means you're going to have to either retape it or glue it. Um, but yeah, just be careful because you do have to X-Acto knife up the side. Just make sure you go up a little bit higher than I did on this one at least because it just tore up the side. Luckily, like I said, I'm getting doubles of these. These are just my openers for review, so I'm not too butthurt about it. It's still annoying. It just kind of is what it is. Um, another annoying thing. This brand new $25 figure has a nice uh, floppy foot. Just like that Omega Sentinel that we got. And I'm really concerned that it's like a broken peg because it is loose. Yeah. It is really loose. Yeah, that's disappointing. But anyways, moving on to the actual figure. You can see it's got a decent likeness. It's like I said, it's like, a, I don't know, like from certain angles, you get like a Hayden Christensen look, but then like from full on, it's, it's, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It looks very close to like the three, it's, so like when I first saw these figures, I guess the best way I can describe it is it looks like they took the three and three quarter figures and just put them in like a grow ray and just, <laughs> just kind of blew them up. So that's why like the face just, it looks a little off. I don't know. He's very shiny too, but you know, it's kind of to be expected. Like, the hair sculpt's nice, like, it, it's very reminiscent of, like, what would this be, like, season one through what, six? Se I was gonna say season one through five. When does it get, he, he got, like, his episode three hair in season seven, wasn't it? Probably. Yeah. I think so, we just watched so, it. So, I mean, it, yeah, it's definitely, like, Clone Wars Anakin, you know, down to the armor, got the little Jedi, Jedi Order logo on the pauldron there. Um, so I think they're using the same trick... Yeah, so it's like a like a tab that goes like kind of into where the butterfly joint sets. So it doesn't really get in the way of arm articulation. Uh, yeah, even going all the way around. Oh, that okay. So yeah, it Whoa. goes it goes around with the arm. That's so cool. That's like I said, the it's like a little circular bit attached to a, a piece of plastic that's like inside of the actual joint there. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think we have. That's and normally it's like it's attached cool. up here. So, I mean, it, it doesn't hinder it at all. It, it'll look a little funky until you just kind of... Put it back. Yeah, get in there and fiddle with it. But yeah, so it doesn't hinder anything. So you can get decent out. It can go all the way around. Um, it does have that nice pegless black series design in the joints. No double. No, no double. They're, they don't do double joints anymore unless they're using old molds, which is what looks like this is. Which I'm not sure what legs these are from is this the anakin revenge of the sith i have them in a box i'll have to dig them out and take a look so it looks like that might be what that is but yeah so the arms come up to about there does have the little wrist rockers obviously all the way around yada 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 uh not a lot of range in the torso until you kind of warm it up i also forgot to go over the head so it's got that little double ball joint thing going on in there like all the standard black series so not a ton of range a little wobbly. He looks like Tom Holland. Oh, why would you say that? That's what he looks like. He looks like Tom Holland. He, he looks does. like angry Tom Holland. It was. It's been driving me crazy because like he doesn't look, doesn't quite look like Hayden Christensen. It doesn't quite look like the Clone Wars version. No, he does. It and looks I like Tom that, Holland. I hate that you pointed that out. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Grab your Tom Holland I'll, for me yeah, real quick. I'll get my Tom Holland. Okay, so yeah, it is. It is Tom Holland's older brother. Mm -hmm. Jim Holland, <laughs> Tim, Tim Tim Holland. That's funny. Yeah, it does look a lot like Tom Holland. So it's like Hayden Christensen from the side, mm -hmm. Tom Holland's brother from the front. I mean, obviously not so much like this sculpt. It looks like he's wearing lipstick here, but it is very it is very Tom Holland, angry Tom Holland. That's funny. I it just it just kind of hit me as we were going through this. Yeah. So, anyways, decent out. Uh, no side. And then double jointed knees, which we will go over in a second. It does get kind of blocked up by the uh, 
the robes here. They go pretty far. Down to the foot. With a rocky rock. Very cool. Um, so yeah, I was looking at these boots and I was like, these look really familiar. And they they got double joints on them. I was like, they're not doing that with any of the new figures. So I assumed it is from the old Anakin Skywalker. Which, yeah. So they just reuse the boots and maybe even yeah it's just the legs from uh from the thigh down it is the same legs which i don't remember in the movie or in the movie in the show if these are what his boots look like or if they're slightly different i've never really looked at his shoes I've never, yeah i've never paid attention to the shoes but i mean you know reuse where you got to reuse and it's really not that big a deal but yeah it is the legs are 100 percent reuse of the archive and or orge line anakin skywalker yeah, as you can see, the likenesses are night and day. This, I literally can't unsee it now as angry Tom Holland. Yeah. So, I guess, you know, thank myself for that. Yeah, this is, you can tell, that's Hayden Christensen. Yeah, this is uh, Tom Holland. So, if Tom Holland ever plays a live-action Anakin Skywalker, okay. they won't even really need to redo the figure. <laughs> so, yeah, but, like I was saying... Moving into like all the, the little details, it is the Clone Wars outfit. It's that really cool Clone Wars Jedi armor, you know, in his own kind of unique Anakin Skywalker kind of dark, moody color style. Obviously, this is post clone or Attack of the Clones, so he's got the robotic arm with the glove. Very cool though. Um, aside from like the wobbly foot and the now can't unsee it uh, Tom Holland face, Damn. he does come. <laughs> yeah. I'm for that. Yeah, he does come with the standard Anakin slash Luke Skywalker lightsaber that we've seen a million times. This one's a little different though. I don't recall seeing the same saber with the peg. Maybe it has at some point, um, but it does. Clip into the belt there, so you can have them. That looks uh, really awesome, honestly. <laughs> it does look really cool, and not not a lot of Jedi figures have like. The ability to put him on the belt. Because I didn't even mention in our Cal Kessis review. There's nowhere to hook that lightsaber. Yeah. You know, he it's either in his hand or he doesn't doesn't, doesn't have it. Doesn't have it. Doesn't get one. So yeah, uh, Anakin Skywalker. Brittany, second impressions on this figure? I'm mad at you. <laughs> I'm mad at myself, but I can't unsee it now. That is angry Tom Holland. I'm mad at you for that, but I think it looks really good. It, it, it definitely represents Anakin's uh, moody... Yeah, um, he's always, personality. <laughs> always wearing the slightly darker colors of in the course. show and the movie. I think so. the only thing I'm upset with is the the wobble foot. Yeah, that's, that's just. That, that's the only thing I'm really upset with. Besides, 20, yeah, I, they I they like want it. they want to raise their prices, but they're not going to raise their quality control. Apparently, right. I mean, this is I've seen lots and lots of defective face apps and stuff on on these figures in the groups too, but that is super disappointing. Uh, I'm probably going to have to repair that. So that just kind of is what it is. I do have the extra parts laying around. Not that I should have to repair a brand new $25 figure fresh out of the box, but what are you going to do? Yeah. So yeah, Anakin Skywalker, very cool. Um, I love the soft goods down here too. I'm pretty sure I pointed that out, but it's just a neat little detail. So yeah, we're going to move on to the next figure that we have. All right, so next up we have Obi-Wan. Uh, what's it? It's just general Obi-Wan, right? They call them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the first thing out of the box that I noticed, and we'll just go over it first real quick, is I was like, wait, that's not Obi-Wan's lightsaber. I was like, because this is Obi-Wan's lightsaber. Um, but again, not something I've ever really looked super close at while watching the show, but I, I'm, I'm guessing this is just how it looks in the show versus like the movie. I don't know. Because yeah, it's like completely different. Completely different from how it looks. Although it's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it is different in... Revenge of the Sith? I honestly don't remember. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is uh, just how close my custom is to the official <laughs> product. And keep in mind, uh, I didn't make a video, but I made this months ago. Yeah, you made that like... Like before this was ever even announced. Yeah. And I put this all together. I got like the water slide stickers. The only difference is I used the uh, Attack of the Clones head just as is because I kind of like the long hair look. Um, but yeah, I mean, just kind of feast your eyes on that. I did strip this from a mace window and then ended up I had to trim it and then glue it because it was too big for his waist but I mean look at that that's it's almost identical that's crazy um just really kind of neat aside I did put an extra thing on the other side just because I liked how it looked and I had the extra water slides 
The only thing that sucks is like this 3D printed armor didn't come out too great, but other than that, it's like, damn, I did a good job just throwing something together. But anyways, yeah, the lightsaber is different. So yeah, I think this is how it looks in the show, maybe. I'll have to go back and watch it, because again, it's not something you really pay attention to, but like your brain kind of picks up on it, and then you see it like, wait, no, that's not right, because like I, for the last 22 years, I, like Obi-Wan's lightsabers looked a certain way to me. But anyways, yeah. So there's really no if, ands, or buts. This is Ewan McGregor. Um, maybe like a slight alteration. I don't have like the... The, the Walgreens General Kenobi, so I can't really compare it, but I think it's pretty similar to that head. Um, but actually, wow, yeah, a lot more range than uh, Anakin had. So lots of up, lots of down, lots and lots of sassy tilt. Very cool. So does this have the same... No, this armor is different. It's like glued here instead of how they did Anakin's. So I think what they did is basically what I did. I just took clone trooper arms, clone trooper legs, and just slapped them on like the Jedi body. I obviously took a, a Mace Windu cloak. So it looks like this is just kind of the same how they have like those uh, those phase one clones that just came out. It's got like the, the pizza or the, the pancake kind of armor pauldron here. So it's like a, like a, I keep wanting to say sloppy. It's like a floppy <laughs> piece that just kind of pops out that way so uh i guess you know minus points for not just going the extra mile and doing what they did with anakin i know this is all new but it's like at the same time it's like you know come on whatever so that just kind of is what it is it does hinder it a little bit it makes it very stiff in the socket so yeah standard clone wars or new clone slash stormtrooper things it's got like that armor bit that's like a fake piece that goes up in the the back of the bicep there so it stays in place um just has the illusion of being part of the undersuit down in the jedi robes again it's like standard it looks like they did what i did they trimmed a little bit off the sides painted the undersuit black um one thing that i think might be new are these thigh bits here because i don't recall seeing these like uh whatever you want to call this it's not a wrap, it's like just like part of the design, like maybe padding or something on the sides here. I don't recall seeing that in any other figures. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I mean, it's possible it showed up at some point on maybe like a special Stormtrooper that I don't own. Um, but other than that, it's, you know, it's the standard newer Black Series clone slash Stormtrooper legs, like that fake armor bit. The knee doesn't move. Again, I say it all the time. I know people complain about it. I don't really mind. So it's like, it's like I said, it's, it's standard kind of clone trooper body stuff, so we don't really have to spend too much time on it. Um, decent amount of range and a little torso there. And then, yeah, he does come with his standard slash not standard Obi-Wan lightsaber, and it does as well clip to the belt. I was a little worried because the hole looked a little shallow, but you know, obviously he wouldn't have it on, but it does clip to the belt. So, yeah, um, I like this one a lot. It's like super close to my custom like when i seen this announced it was like it was just a couple weeks after i made it i was like oh come on yeah I remember. it's like are you freaking serious i just like sacrificed a couple clone troopers yeah. to make this custom and all i had to do was wait like less than a month and you were working on that forever because you couldn't get that chest plate right and yeah plate and it was all bumpy and it was uneven don't forget to mention what the paint app oh yeah there's like paint app errors all over about like where the armor is because it's part of the sculpt I don't, I don't think it's a separate piece. So yeah, it is part of the sculpt. So this this torso bit is a new sculpt. You know, give him credit for that at least, as far as I know. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah, no, you were complaining and complaining and you almost gave up on it. Well, yeah, I had to wait forever for the, the armor bit to come in. Oh, and then oh. the what he sent me wasn't really what was advertised. Like the way that the pictures looked, it was nice and smooth, but it was like this rough 3D printed bull crap. It was, it was a whole thing. I'm not gonna really go into it here, but yeah, that was, that was like kind of a nightmare. Um, it didn't turn out anywhere near as nice as this. The, the pictures look like this. That's what it looked like, but yeah, it didn't really turn out like that. But anyways, Obi-Wan, second impressions on him? Uh, I love him. Yeah? yeah. I, I don't know. I don't really have much to complain about. I love the Clone Wars, so... Yeah. I mean, the only issue so far that I've had is floppy foot and you uh, ruining my mental image of Hayden Christensen. <laughs> well, I mean, this one doesn't look like a... What's his name? 
Holland? Tom Holland. I keep wanting to say Tom Arnold. He's not a comedian. Yeah, this one doesn't look like Tom Holland, at least. No, it looks like Ewan McGregor, which is good. I'm imagining, though, this is probably going to get a reuse, this face, when the Obi-Wan series comes out, and they make in the inevitable toys for that, too. I'm so. have to make them well, I mean, they'll... Put some gray in his hair or whatever. But yeah, Obi-Wan. Very cool. I like him a lot. We're going to move on to the last figure that we have in the wave. All right, so moving on to the last figure that we have, Echo. And, you know, just uh, another just amazing Hasbro quality control issue. Uh, mine has like a slightly clubbed foot, just like that old Clone Wars Ahsoka, if any of you remember that. So one of his feet is slightly higher than the other. I can kind of fudge it if I sort of tilt his hips a little bit, but it's it's definitely noticeable. Um, he has like zero range in his feet too. But from what I've read, uh, I'm pretty sure this is all new. Like this entire figure is new sculpt. I don't think anything on here is really reuse. Um, the backpack doesn't come off. I don't want to break anything. But yeah, um, I think even down to the face. I think the face is new too. I don't think this has been used before. If it has, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. but I don't think so. It might just be the like the Django Fett head with a different hairdo. But this is really cool. Um, I, I've I've always like because we got into the Black Series kind of late. Mm -hmm. I picked up a few like back in the day, but I missed out on like I missed out on Rex. I missed out on like Obi Wan and Anakin, Darth Maul. I had to pick up all that stuff like way, way, way later. Um, so it's nice actually getting a chance to get one of these clone troopers. And not having to pay ridiculous scalper prices. I mean, I didn't. I, I just paid retail for it, which was amazing. He was just on the shelf when we walked in. So yeah, um, this is the standard like Arc Trooper armor. He's got his own individual little mark, like how most of them do in the show. Um, we did look into it because I was like, wait, that's Echo. He's the same one uh, that ends up at the Bad Batch, right? He gets like the robot arm and the the Lobot mm -hmm. like head thing. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah okay, that is Echo. Because like the, I know it's like the Clone Wars episodes go and they're not entirely in chronological order some of them because it's, it's like like echo dies but then like in the next season or a few episodes later he's, he's like he's in an episode and they're doing like training it's, it's like a whole thing it's like because i kept getting kind of confused watching the show um like actually sitting down and paying attention and i was like wait 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 i thought that guy died and wait why does ahsoka look different but then she it, 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 it was a whole thing yeah but anyways <laughs> So yeah, moving on to this, lots and lots of nice little detail. I do love this like Mandalorian gauntlet thing. Looks a lot like uh, like what Boba Fett and Jango Fett have on their their wrists and everything. Nicely detailed little buttons. I can't tell if that's supposed to be wear and tear, if that's just paint tap errors around the buttons there. But there is like, uh, hang on, I can't really see. No, there isn't. I was gonna say it's just the way that the light was hitting. I thought there was like um. Like scuff marks and stuff. That's just the way the light's hitting it. Because uh, I'm looking at this with the camera. So, but yeah, down to the uh, what is this called? Like a comma, I think is the technical term for it. I, th I think. God, I can't remember. Somebody. Uh, yeah, I'm not good with that stuff. I was, yeah, I know, I know their names. It's like his little <laughs> skirt thing. So, but anyways, uh, obviously this armor is going to come at a cost. It does definitely hinder, but not as much as you would think. Uh, looks like this might be kind of standard clone trooper. So it looks like this is probably reuse, this top shoulder bit, but then everything from the elbow down, which is kind of off and crooked, everything from the elbow down looks to be original. Again, like I said, I'm always willing to be corrected when I am wrong. It's really hard to keep track of all these tiny little parts that may or may not be reused. I'm not like a like an expert or anything. I just look at cool toys and I go, this is what I think about them. So again, you can yell at me in the comments if you want. But it looks like this is like standard clone belt, but it's all one piece. Or no, it's not. Never mind. So this is one piece, the holsters. This comma bit is actually separate. I thought this was all just one one giant chunk, but actually it is not. So it's it's kind of two separate pieces. It looks like it's just standard belt, they glued these bits on. I mean, because like, why make like an entirely new belt? Oh, actually, no. Never mind. I'm wrong again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These pouches are new. So this is all new. Never mind. Scratch that. Nice detail on the backpack, though. I do like the little silver accents. Very easily could have just kept this a plain color and, you know, keep the cost down. Nobody, like, people would have complained, but, you know, Hasbro does as Hasbro does. 
Um, I, I think because they've been getting kind of spanked by McFarlane and stuff lately, they're kind of stepping up their game, you know, quality paint-wise. So, competition is always good. Down to these unique boots. It looks like the thighs. This is probably all reuse here. It does have that new Clone Wars or Clone Trooper knee pad, blah, blah, blah. We just went over all that. Swivel at the knee, though. Uh, getting down to this is kind of where I had the problem with it. There's not a lot of foot articulation on top of like the weird club foot. I mean, it's it's enough. It'll get you by. Um, but it's very stiff. Very stiff and kind of hard to articulate. But anyways, it's a cool figure. Moving over to the helmet again. It's got his unique little stripes on here, the graffiti and everything. I don't know everything about every clone figure or clone character, so sue me. It's got the little rangefinder, which... I'm sure is kind of how it's supposed to look, but it's almost like a translucent kind of gray. So they didn't even put any paint on it. It's just plain, plain, least, plain as can be. At least the antenna could have been like black and then you leave the other There's, part the translucent gray, which makes more sense. It's something. It's just slightly lazy. Thankfully, this one doesn't suffer from some of like the horrible, horrible, horrible paint up issues I've seen on other like on pictures of some of these like i've seen like this black band is like up here and then down on one side and like the eye paints all over the place this one seems pretty good luckily i was able to get this in hand before i bought it so i was able to look at it and make sure it didn't look like crap so the helmet does fit over pretty easily it does kind of look a little large but you know that's kind of is what it is if you want the removable helmet that's kind of sacrificing you have to make Again, in a perfect world, like I was saying with the Bad Batch characters, preferably just a swappable head would be better. You know, you can just pop the unmasked one on, pop the helmeted one on. Yeah. So you kind of get rid of that kid in the Halloween costume look. <laughs> but, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It's okay. Uh, standard clone blaster. Clone rifle. You've seen it a million times. Comes with Commander Cody, a bunch of other clone troopers. Same with the sidearm. Standard, 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 and standard like ARC Troopers slash like Commander pistols. He comes with dual ones because all these ARC Trooper guys have the dual pistols, which is very cool. Um, he does have holsters for these. So these do pop in very easily. Nice rubbery holsters. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool. One thing I've always had kind of a complaint about is there's never any place to like store the rifles on their backpack without like modifying it yourself and having to like dremel holes into stuff just like a little thing it's like you know just have like a little peg or a slot where they can stick on you know just so you don't have to like store everything away so if you want to have them you know up on your shelf without uh like not in a battle pose you can have them like with a rifle on their back or something or uh even like an extra holster uh, whatever you know just kind of is what it is it would just be nice is what i'm saying so, uh, club foot aside, as you can see, he does stand on a lean. He's going into that, that Michael Jackson move. But, anyways, second impressions on uh, Echo here. What do you think? I love it. It's cool. I mean, it's like it's another clone I... trooper. It's a lot. It's mostly unique sculpts. So, I mean, I definitely appreciate that. I mean, uh, my my opinion when we go to buy or don't buy is going to be very, I, I guess, biased, not biased. Mm hmm. But. I mean, uh, yeah. the, the, the quality is there. Like, they're not bad figures. No. Aside from Anakin's flop foot and Tom Holland phase, and he's, still a, he, he's, he's still a really good figure. Right. And yeah, he's got slight club foot, but not all of them are like that. No. Because we have two of the Clone Wars Ahsoka's. One had the club foot, and the other one is fine. So, it just it just depends. Luck of the draw. Yeah. So, all right. So, yeah, we're going to get these guys kind of posed up. And uh, Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do something real quick before we do that. I'll be right back. All right, so yeah, just real quick. I'll probably put them up like this on the table. Just Ahsoka from Clone Wars. She does fit in great with the rest of them, obviously. A little bit shorter. But yeah, so here's like kind of like a slight kind of scale comparison. Tall Anakin, shorter Obi-Wan, shorter Ahsoka, tall clone boy. So she does look cool. She's going to look really nice like up on display if you manage to get your hands on this figure. So yeah. she does fit in very, very well with the other two. Yeah, she looks really nice. Oh, yeah. All right, so moving back over to the table. Um, before we go into our final, final thoughts and opinions and should you buy whatever, I just noticed that Echo here, he comes with dual pistols, 
but only one trigger finger. So you're gonna have to uh, cut that out yourself. It's really easy just very carefully use an X-Acto knife and cut it out, but if you want him holding dual pistols, uh, you're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, home improvement there. Yeah. But as it is, I mean, yeah, Ahsoka looks great with these guys. They pose up real nice when I can get Anakin's floppy foot to stay. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool figures, very much needed. It's great to finally have them, and I'm really hoping for some more Clone Wars stuff. Oh, of course. But yeah, it would be neat to get them all kind of in Jedi armor over time, but it's like I'd like them to get working on some of the ones that we need. Oh, yeah. Like Aayla Sakura, Shock T, yeah, all the other Jedis that haven't been made yet. <laughs> right. We, I mean, it's nice to get clones. It's nice to get Obi-Wan and Anakin in their clone armor, like, officially, instead of having to, like, kit bash them yourself. Right. Um, but, yeah, at the same time, it's like, okay, we get it. People like clones. They sell well. But can we get some more Jedis, please? Because Jedis mm -hmm. also sell well, and they've been in very high demand for a while. But, hey, you know, I'm not in charge of Hasbro. So, yeah, yeah these three, I mean, the four, but, yeah, these three especially... It looks really nice. They do look really, really good together. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Bye. Flaws aside. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Just buy it. Don't question it. Just do it. I um. Mean... That's that's like the conundrum of Black Series figures, especially ones like this, and they're an exclusive. It's like, if you collect Black Series and you like Clone Wars. And you go to the store, and either they have them in the back, and an employee can grab one, or you see it on the shelf. I would say grab it because they're probably they're either going to be impossible to find, or there's going to be so many of them. There's going to be peg warmers because I know right now Hawk got delayed on like the other half of the country, so everyone on the West Coast already has him, and mostly only him, and everybody on the East Coast got the Anakin, three. Obi Wan, and Echo. Echo's kind of like in the middle. He's like kind of easy to find, kind of hard to find. We found two, and then they had like 15 more in back. Right. Is what he said. So, I mean, my opinion, my personal opinion, like I said, it's very biased because I love the Clone Wars. That show is, uh, I love it. Yeah. So, yes, I'm going to say grab it, buy it, do what you can to get it. But, again, if you're not really a fan or anything like that, you don't care about the Clone Wars or whatever. Yeah, if, then if you're not in a Clone Wars, like... If you, I would say even if you just collect Black Series, if you have the chance to buy it, even just a couple, just grab them and hold on to them and use them for trades later because they're going to go up in value. Like I said, unless there's like a massive glut of these and then they become peg warmers like some of them. It hasn't happened yet with Target exclusive Star Wars figures though. Even the oh. Remnant Troopers, they were around for a bit and like everybody got one and then they were gone. Just yeah. gone. Now they're going for like 40 bucks a pop. So... No... Especially with like hot property like Clone Wars, everyone's talking about it right now with Bad Batch and the season seven that just came out. These are getting snatched up like crazy. We just happened to get lucky. Oh yeah, we got there. We like, we went at the right time at the right day and talked to the right people. We like, were literally there the day, well today. Yeah. We were literally we that were there they got today them and today. They literally <laughs> got them in today. Yeah. And uh, the lady apparently said to you that yeah. it would be gone by this evening. By by when I went back in to grab a couple extra Obi Wan's for a couple people to help someone out and to make that trade, she was like, "Yeah, these are probably going to be gone by the evening because we're already getting flooded with phone calls." Yeah. And she's like, "She's like, yeah, I've been asked to go in the back like three times already." So, yeah, if you if you see them, grab them. If you like Clone Wars, grab them. Um, especially if you get a chance to look at them on the shelves, you can you can check paint apps. Obviously, you can't check if they got wobbly feet like my Anakin here, but it's it's really luck of the draw on that one. Like the, yeah. there's no real way to tell. Echo's really cool. A couple of weird flaws with mine, and then the the missing trigger finger is very strange. But I guess that just kind of is what it is. So, yeah, that's that's kind of like my thing is buy them. That's yeah. For yeah. Like the fourth time, just buy them. No, no um, wait for a sale or anything. These are never going to be on sale. They're never, no, they're never going to be on sale. Although now that we said that. Somebody's gonna point out in like three months when like these are on the warm in the pegs and they're on sale for like three dollars a piece. Like I just knocked on wood like three times. So. Oh yeah. I slowly did it. Don't worry. I know about the wobble foot. Yeah. <laughs> all right, mom. That's all you have to say. That's all I have to say. I guess continue to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow DK Customs. If you like us enough, you can hit the notification bell. 
and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>